My top three are economy, border, and, and safety, and also our military. Right now it's taxes, and how much of it can I keep? Women's right to their own bodies. Grocery bill, your gas bill. Um, I'm ready to go back to what we had. I've stood in the line with you at the polls. Our team has sat at your tables all to hear what you want from candidates in the upcoming election. So tonight we're sharing the voices of candidates to see if their goals align with yours before you head to the polls to vote. Tonight's focus is on the Missouri Senate race between incumbent Josh Hawley and Lucas Kuntz. Missouri Republican incumbent Josh Hawley is making his second bid for the U.S. Senate. Over the last few weeks, he's taken his talking points across the show me state to reach people from the Cape to Kansas City. I asked him about the biggest topics in the Senate race, including abortion and immigration. Hawley has repeatedly said we are living in a tough time as Americans, even using the phrase in a social media campaign video. Is this a tough time for our country? Yes, it is. But what a privilege to live in a time that matters. We talked to Hawley about the divisional nature of this election cycle. Both Hawley and his opponent, Lucas Kuntz, bring up each other a lot in conversation. Well, listen, all I can say is, is that I think it's important that people know what his record is, and certainly it's important people know what mine is. Hawley says he plans to vote no on Amendment 3. It's also known as the Right to Reproductive Freedom Initiative. The senator says he believes the decision should be left up to the states and is not in favor of a national abortion ban. In the past, he's linked abortion discussions to gender affirming care. I asked why he's making that connection when discussing Amendment 3. Ballot language explicitly says it is not limited to abortion and it is not limited to fertility. It is all reproductive health services. If they wanted this to be just about abortion, they could have written it to be just about abortion. But they didn't. They wrote it expansively. The line he's referring to reads, right to make and carry out decisions about all matters of reproductive health care, including but not limited to prenatal care, childbirth, postpartum care, birth control, abortion care, miscarriage care, and respectful birthing conditions. At every campaign event we've attended leading up to the election, Hawley has brought up immigration and the border wall. He's in favor of a completely closed border and fortification of the border wall. The next president, Donald Trump, I hope, will be able to do it by executive order. President Biden signed an executive action in June to tighten the border after negotiations in Congress broke down. What's unclear is what role, if any, January 6th plays in this race. Senator Hawley objected to President Biden's 2020 win in Pennsylvania. Abby Dodge, KSHB 41 News. Lucas Kuntz won't let you forget where he came from. I grew up in a working class neighborhood in mid-Missouri. Everyday Missourian is a label he likes to use. The word Democrat, not so much. This isn't about the parties for me. This is about individual people's freedoms. Kuntz is running against incumbent Josh Hawley for Missouri's Senate seat. They bring each other up a lot. Josh Hawley actually came to Missouri. But Kuntz isn't opposed to collaborating with different parties. Let me just say it is an honor to be here. He proved that point by campaigning with, with former you. Illinois Republican in Congressman churches, Adam Kinzinger and former Missouri time, Democrat Secretary of State Jason Kander. I just want to show that I can work with anybody, Democrat or Republican. For immigration, Kuntz takes a more conservative stance and even critiques Democrats. I think that the Biden administration's catch and release policy is has been abysmal. I think we need to end the catch and release policy. We need to stop the flow of fentanyl and we need to fully fund and equip border patrol. Kuntz supports Amendment 3, the statewide vote on abortion. So let's codify Roe versus Wade. Let's get back to that. Let's protect in vitro fertilization and contraception so people can design their families how they see fit. Kuntz frames his support for Amendment 3 as keeping government out of health care decisions. But he's also relying on his military background and affinity for guns to try and win over independents and moderate Republicans. I think the people of Missouri deserve somebody who's only going to be able to represent them, and that's, that's what I'm doing. Kuntz also calls out Senator Hawley for not being as influential as former Senator Roy Blunt. Hawley counters that by saying he doesn't earmark bills on purpose because he says that involves lobbyists. In Kansas City, I'm Rachel Henderson, KSHB 41 News.